Okay, well, very good morning to Madam Jauria and my fellow friends. My name is Minatni Anaparampan Kanin, today's moderator for our discussion. Welcome to the forum of today. First, I would like to thank all of the audience who are watching this right now. Thank you very much for attending the forum for today. Our issue for this morning is, should Kroger pay now for what RAP employees did in the past? Okay. First and foremost, I would like to introduce our panels for this morning. Uh, our first panel is Chao Yao Wen. He's a logistic and transportation student and he's currently doing mobility program in UUM. Our next three panel is Arina Karina binti Ahmad Nazaruddin, Nurul Isma Hawani binti Muhammad Ismail, Nur Farzana binti Muhammad Saudi. All these panels are currently doing degree in Bachelor in Science Economics. Our fifth panel is Muhammad Zairul Fikri bin Zailani, Bachelor of Philosophy, Law and Business. Last but not least, our sixth panel is Hafizatul Amira binti Hilmi, uh, Bachelor in Accounting, TISA. Welcome to our forum for today. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know today, uh, ethic is one of also known as standard of right and wrong, usually in terms of right, obligations, benefit to society, fairness, sp or specific virtue. Some years ago, a socialist Raymond asked people who are in business. Uh, he asked, what does ethic mean to you? Among their replies were the following, ethic has to do with the with a feeling of right or wrong, or maybe with religious belief, or with a law require. But some people uh, answer uh, is like, I don't know what ethic is. So different people have different uh, opinion related to ethics. For further details about this topic, I would like to seek an information from our first panel next to me, Arina Karina. As one of the students of UUM, what do you know about ethics and why do you think it's important in life? Um, thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to Dr. Jaria, uh, our Miss Moderator and fellow panel. Um, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to for inviting me to this online forum. I'm real thankful and happy. Hopefully, uh, everyone here and everyone who watching this uh, online forum uh, stay safe at home. So back to our moderator question. As one of the students of UUM, uh, what you know about ethics and why you think it is important in life? A very good question to start. Uh, so as a student, personally, um, my view of ethics uh, changed from the beginning of my degree journey until uh, now. Currently, I am semester six and this semester I'm taking management ethics class. Um, I learned a lot and really enjoy uh, learning the subject. Roughly I would say that before this uh, ethics to me uh, is just uh, the moral value that you need to have and what uh, goods come from the community. Now uh, by learning the management ethics subject I know that the definition of ethic uh, is moral standard of society to evaluate uh, their responsibleness and their implication of uh, one life. To me, ethics is very important in life. Ethics is kind of system that uh, help you uh, help us to uh, tell the right from wrong and good from bad. Uh, with ethics. It gives uh, a real and practical guidance to our life. Honesty, uh, trustworthiness, uh, responsibility are the example of ethical value that um, every people need to have and what students need to carry all the time. Uh, student, for example, the ethical value uh, create the student character how the student react to his or her uh, group mate, how the student working uh, on the project, is the student um, follow rules and the regulation. As 
And yes, in education, uh, ethics are applicable on both uh, the instructor as well as the student. Meanwhile, as an economic student, I learned that ethical standard play an important role in economic life. Uh, economics play an important role in trying to improve society. Uh, normative economies examine the costs and benefits uh, of alternative, uh, of alternative policy. Deciding among these alternatives require people to rank goal and their uh, ranking are determined by ethical value. According to a study uh, in economic life by Jonathan uh, from University of Richmond, he said that economic in life is growing exponentially as economics we need to understand how ethical conduct uh, reduce transaction costs, enhance productivity, and create the social so, social uh, capital that uh, lubricants exchange. So that's for me. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Arina, for your explanation earlier. I finally understand the term of ethics from an economic view, uh, because. Uh, People from a different background, of course, might have a different view in ethics. Um, thank you for your explanations. Now I would like to ask Mr. Yao Wen, what is your opinion on ethics? Because the term might differ in your country. Since you're in Malaysia, you might uh, see the differences in China and also in Malaysia. Yes. And my next question is that, did you ever experience any ethic problem uh, here in Malaysia? Okay, I think uh, <clears throat> very good morning to our lecture and my friend. Uh, there's a little bit different um, in Malaysia and China. China. Uh, in China, uh, there are five basic principles of ethic, uh, which are loyalty, filial, piety to your father and mother, love and respect to your elder brother, and tolerate and credible. Uh, these are the basic principle of ethic in China that we followed a uh, thousand years. And from my experience in Malaysia, I think Malaysia is a very kind country and most people are very easy to get along well with. And but uh, I'm a foreign student. Uh, I experienced that some of the lecture uh, not very nice. Uh, they did very nice to the local student and when they face to the international student, they become no patient and uh, even rude. And some lecturer even have some double standard. Mm, they don't even want to talk to a foreign student. Uh, and uh, please forgive me, I talk in a very straight way because these are the very, uh, th this, uh, there's a case that happened uh, around me in my maritime class. Uh, in my maritime class, uh, one Chinese boy is cheating with her friend and uh, there's a two Malay girls sit behind them and start to laughing and sounds very loud. And the lecturer uh, become angry. Uh, they, the lecturer saying think that uh, they are not respect uh, him and uh, shout to the Chinese boy to get out, um, but just the Chinese boy. I don't know the reason why. Um, and the, when the Chinese boy want to explain, he is not laughing, and the lecturer uh, become angry and wave his hand, want to even want to hit the boy and yell to the boy uh, to get out. But uh, besides that, the true Malay girl not take any punishment. Uh, that real things happen uh, around myself. That's all. Oh, wow, Mr. So Yawin. That's a lot of event in Malaysia also. Well, thank you, Mr. Yawin, for your enlightenment. So it is true that ethics is actually important and relevant for today's world. It's not just depends on how or what, uh, it's, it's just depends on how or what we are doing actually because 
a mistake that we do might might give a consequences for another person. So we have to be aware of every single thing. Ah, uh, thank you, Mister Yao Wen. Well, Mister Mart, without staying long, can you know what is? Can we know what did? What is your opinion about ethics and what ex actually is highlighted in Kroger's case study? Uh, please enlighten it, Mr. Mat. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Moderator. Assalamualaikum. And a very good day to everyone, especially Dr. Jauria. Uh, from my perspective as a philosophy student in UUM, Ethics is one of the main branch in philosophy. As uh, general people know, uh, philosophy has three main branch. Uh, they are epistemology, uh, metaphysics, and ethics. And these three branches are interconnected and interrelated to each other. So before I move on discussing what is the meaning of ethics, according to my opinion, it is better for me to tell about what is philosophy. Philosophy is a word originated from Greek word philia and sophia. Philia is a uh, love of wisdom and sophia is, uh, sophia is uh, uh, wisdom, love of friends and wisdom. So when philia and sophia combine, so it brings the meaning of the love of wisdom between friends. So why the meaning is like that? Because the subject of philosophy need to have uh, intellectual discourse in order to expand the philosophy subject. So that's why today we have a lot of philosophy around the world. Uh, we have philosophy in ethics, we have philosophy in metaphysics, we have meta philosophy in epistemology. So coming to ethics, uh, oh yeah, before I forget, in philosophy, the main tool in order to construct the subject is logic. Logic. So in philosophy, you cannot just uh, make a statement without a basic of logic. And logic is, uh, is a way of thinking because philosophy is related to thinking and thinking is an activity in which we are finding answers for everything that is happening in our life. So coming to ethics, what is the meaning of ethics? Ethics has three meanings actually. The first meaning is it is a study that arises from our capacity to choose among values. Okay, in our life, in our world today as human, we have a range of values that we, that we can choose from, good or bad. All of that are values. So, the capacity of human in choosing those values need to be studied. And this study is called ethics. That is the first meaning. The second meaning is the discussion on the values that we choose in in, 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 in applying in our life. Uh, so that is the second meaning. The third meaning is the values itself. We are studying the values itself. Note that is the difference between those two definitions. The, the second definition, I would like to highlight again. The second definition is ethics is when you are studying why you are choosing that or this particular action or this or that particular value. The third definition is you are studying the value itself. The basic, the background of the value. And that is, there have been discussed uh, uh, behind the values itself. So, uh, as uh, our moderator asked uh, our Mr. Miss, Mr. Yawen, what is the difference between ethics in China and, and, and in Malaysia? So, when that question comes out, it can fall under a subject in ethics called ethical relativism. So, if I want to tell everything about ethics, I think it might take a long time. So, better, I think this is the, uh, the surface of ethics that I can uh, expose to all of you. Now, coming to the next question. What is being highlighted in Kroger case 
that we are studying here. So, um, in Kroger case, uh, it is good for me to tell about the summary of the case uh, in, in, a, in a nutshell. Uh, a, a Kroger company is a company, uh, a very big company that has merged with Ralph company. But unfortunately, they doesn't know that one of the employee of Ralph has met sexual harassment to their workers before Kroger take over the company. And when Kroger has take over the company, Kroger has to pay all the compensation and the punitive judgment, punitive, uh, uh, I, I, punitive uh, punishment uh, towards uh, the crime. So the ethical issues that we discuss here is first, is sexual harassment is a big issue in the workplace. That's the first issue we discuss. The second issue is, is Kroger should pay for that punitive and compensation punishment. Uh, that is the ethical issue. Because um, this thing, uh, because if we see in the case, uh, the employee named Roger Misnolet did all this sexual harassment thing before Kroger take over. And why Kroger should pay? Uh, that is what we are going to discuss in the, in the, in the group assignment, in the case. So in conclusion, ethics is something that uh, we study in order to choose which value is capable for us to apply in our world, whether it is good or bad towards ourselves or towards the person we are uh, communicate. And the second conclusion is uh, this uh, case that we are studying is about ethical issue, uh, mostly about sexual harassment and mostly about moral obligation. Uh, do Kroger uh, oblig oblige to pay for the compensation or not? So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Matt, for your enlightenment. From here, I can see that there are three different opinions to the ex. Uh, we, first, we have seen uh, the meaning of uh, ethics from the economic view, then from the view of your way, then from you, from the law and philosophy school, different types of uh, definition related to view uh, ethics and opinions. Because I can say refer to the morality as what our panels say. Uh, from what uh, Mr. Mart and Yawen and Arina said, uh, at the end of the day, the, the thing that we are going to talk is the morality. Is it good to do this? What is the consequences? Uh, what am I going to get by doing this? So it's just the moral of the value. Uh, and then now I can see what is highlighted in Kroger's case study. So, in future, we can do more discussion uh, why this particular uh, case study becomes very important uh, to our life also. Uh, as we know, uh, Ralph received complaints about Ms. Solik's behavior. And these complaints did not reach Ralph headquarters in Campton. So, Ms. Isma, why do you think the headquarters did not receive the complaint? Okay, uh, thank you, Ms. Moderator, for the question. Assalamualaikum and good morning to Dr. Jaura and fellow friends. Okay, after go through the case, actually the RAF headquarters received the complaint but they, re they respond to, towards the complaint is like in appropriate way. For example, after the several women making a complaint about the harassment, the company did not remove Mr. Select from his store manager but instead moved the complaining woman to other stores. And then in 1996, company had received another complaint about Mr. Where Mr. Lake grabbed Diane Gober and threw her into a chair with so much, so much force. At this point, we can see the company disciplined Mr. Lake and transferred him to another rough store. As we can see, the action taken by the company did not solve the problem because Mr. Lake is still free to do the harassment towards other people. So we can see that that's what, that was unfair to the several women because we know that sexual harassment is a serious problem. That's all. Thank you. 
thank you, Ms. Isma, for your explanation earlier. Well, I believe it is a serious uh, issue because in Malaysia itself, uh, those particular things actually occur. It's just that we don't see it directly. Thank you, Ms. Isma, for your explanation earlier. Well, Ms. Arina, do you believe that the judge is right in holding the company as a whole should not be held for responsible for its action? And my next question is, should the company be held responsible for the policy to prevent complaints from reaching the headquarters? Uh, thank you. So I believe that the judge's decision uh, for not taking action uh, to the company as whole for misiolate behavior is uh, wrong. Uh, although Ralph headquarters did not receive complaints, they should take the responsibility too. Uh, in the case study, uh, it states that the several women complained to RAF management, but the company did not remove Ms. Oleg from the uh, store management position and no serious action uh, was taken. Instead, uh, they moved uh, the complaining woman to another store. Moreover, they have been more than 80 uh, harassment complaint filed against my select at, at four different stores since 1985. This shows that it, it is very unethical and no justice uh, for the woman worker. The management, uh, the management team itself discriminated against the right or equality to the woman worker as not removing Ms. Solet from the store management position and moving complaining a worker are not the right way uh, to solve the problem. Uh, sexual harassment uh, is serious and could be trauma uh, traumatized. Uh, a set of a set of Guideline was published uh, by the Equal uh, Employment Commission, uh, Equal Employment uh, Opportunity Commission (EEOC) in 1978. These guidelines are mainly to prohibit uh, sexual harassment and explain that uh, employer is responsible for all sexual harassment engaged in by employees. Uh, another proof is that the company only uh, discipline and transfer Ms. to another another rough uh, store after the headquarters received complaint against uh, from Diana Gober in 1996. This showed that the company did not well run as the company did not uh, protect the worker welfare. Furthermore, uh, this could be uh, misleading as the company uh, might ignore Ms. Yolet action at the first place because uh, Ms. Yolet had a history of boosting profits at the store he managed and achieving excellent bottom line figure at the store. Therefore, the company should be responsible for the lack of policy and procedure regarding complaints from reaching headquarters in sufficient uh, company uh, management and also the human uh, resource department. That's all from me. Well, thank you, Ms. Arina, for your explanation earlier. I believe that um, nowadays we know that uh, female employees are increasing day by day. So it is uh, important to make sure their safety and their work environment. So sexual harassment is a serious issue that we have to focus on it. Um, all right, moving on to the next panel, Mr. Yao Wen, what kind of penalty do you believe would be appropriate for RAF? And in your view, was the $33.3 million penalty uh, excessive? Uh, uh, please explain more detail about it. Thank you. Okay, uh, in my view, I think in the process of working, workers have the right to require employers to provide a safe, equal, and protected working environment for personal dignity for workers, which is obligation of employers. If the employers violate the obligation, it is the employer's 
duty to provide a um, to provide a channel to complain and uh, solve the problem effective. So uh, I think uh, the punishment for rough should be divided into two parts. First part is uh, compensatory damage for the victim, for the six women. And the second part is the punishment fine for rough's manager for not taking any uh, effective uh, solution um, for the sexual uh, harassment. For the punishment fine for rough manager, um, because it is the employer's duty to, in this case of the sexual harassment, to provide an effective complaint channel to solve the uh, six victim complaining. Many times, the six uh, victim complaining many times, but Ruff's manager do not take any effective way to solve the problem. So uh, I think um, that's all my thing. But I think the uh, 33.3 million uh, fine is uh, too much. It should be depends on the uh, degree of humanity, uh, humiliation suffered by the victim and the cost of the treatment of the victim's uh, psychological injury. It's different. Okay, thank you. That's all my thing. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Yawin, for your enlightenment. No, I see why do you feel it's uh, appropriate in that manner? Well, I would like to ask Ms. Mira, was the final 2006 judgment is fair? Uh, would you please uh, give your opinion and explain more about it? Assalamualaikum and good morning. Thank you, for your, uh, thank you, moderator, for your question. So, in my opinion, I think that the final 2006 is not fair. This is because the victims, uh, which are the six women, is only received less than what they are actually offered in 2002. I would like to divide my explanation into three parts. First and foremost, dignity is the most important element which we cannot simply buy with money. Every woman in this world deserves uh, to live in harmony, free from fear, violence and also discrimination. The sexual harassment that the six women face uh, has damaged their dignity. Next, uh, my second explanation is about the, the discrimination. In this case, discrimination in the workplace and also discrimination against women is something that is not, that, that is not acceptable. Because of that, all the women uh, were having emotional damages and trauma because of mesiolate behavior. The worst part was no serious action was taken into Mesiolet even though complete to management. And my last part of explanation is about the trial. During the trial, uh, the judge discovered that one of the jury was a shareholder of Ralph. Maybe in this case, the jury are being biased or be on Ralph's side. This situation maybe have significantly impact the fine the final judgment of this case. The jury should not be biased because uh, he should practice fair and justice in conducting this case. All right. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mira, for your explanation earlier. Is there anyone who disagree to the final judgment in 2006? Okay, moderator, I would like to answer this question. Uh, good morning, everyone. Okay, I think the final judgment was uh, fair enough. Of course, dignity is very important, like Amira said. But the way for women, which are Finton and Lang, Nolan and Papiro, decide to lengthen the case and make other person angry and decide, and they decide to give them a small amount because uh, the way they uh, decide to lengthen the case, uh, so instead of the two other person, which is uh, Dian Gaber and Tina Swan, uh, agree to accept the judgment uh, reward on the first trial, and they receive a big amount of compensatory damage award. So I think the final ju judgment was fair enough uh, to give 
to the six uh, person. That's all. Uh, that's what I think. Thank you. Thank you, Miss um, Farzana. Okay, here I can see that um, there is a difference between two people's opinion, but I believe that uh, we have to see from both sides also. Like as a coin, we have to see both sides, right? There might be bad and good. So maybe Farzana said might be true, and what Amira said might be true. So we don't know what's going on in a real uh, term. It's like more to dilemma, right? All right. Um, thank you, uh, Miss Mira and Miss Farzana for your explanation earlier. Well, Mr. Mart, I would like to ask uh, uh, you that in previously you explained us related to uh, certain um, what we call it events that uh, before Kroger took over rough uh, supermarket. Uh, sexual harassment actually occur. So I would like to ask you, should Kroger have to pay for this event that happened before it took over the chain of the supermarket? Uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, moderator. Okay, uh, in discussing whether Kroger has to pay for the events that happened uh, before the, the company took over the chain of supermarket, uh, let us see from angles of perspective. Okay, from one perspective, we have to look at the contract itself first. If the contract signed between Kroger and Ruff uh, stated that Kroger must liable for everything that happens to Ruff, so uh, Kroger must pay the compensation and punitive damage even though it seems unfair, but if it is stated in the contract, so they must pay. But putting the contract aside, if we observe carefully the case, actually Kroger has failed to address the issue brought by the victim efficiently and in a just manner. Because if you read the case, even though Kroger has acquired rough. Uh, in 1998, the harasser, Roger Masolek, continued to work as usual for more than a year after Kroger took over off. So this is very surprising actually for a company that claimed to have a policy of anti-sexual harassment. It is very embarrassing actually. So, and then he was reportedly to continue making sexual harassment and continue touching women appropriately. And in the case, in the essay itself, it said that it was stated that after 14 months taking our off, then the company finally suspended Ms. Olet and eventually he quit from his job. So you see, this is the reason I think Kroger have a moral obligation to pay for the compensation and punitive damages to the victims for event that happened even before it took over based on my argument that I have stated. And you see, if you acquire, if you can acquire a company and you can acquire all the assets, logically you also must acquire the liability that come together with what you acquire. It is like you are adopting a child. You are the father. You adopt a child. You cannot just adopt the goodness of the child. You also must adopt the bad, the evil of the child. You have to bear the consequences, what the child has done before, even though you didn't adopt yet. So that's the logic behind my uh, reason. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mart, for your enlightenment. I understand more on the chain of the supermarket. It is true that uh, whatever things that we are doing, we they have a certain contract that we should follow. So if it, if it is stated uh, in that particular contract that you must uh, have a moral obligation related to this particular um, event, so they should take responsible unless it is not stated. But since it is stated, they should take responsible. But uh, according to this case, I can see that there is a differ in communication itself. 
because they don't really communicate each other and the line of uh, bureau bureaucracy, right? So maybe this might be one of the reasons why uh, the contract doesn't really work out between them. Uh, well, all right, Mrs. Isma, what, what can you make a company to make sure that a situation like Misolik does not occur? Because I can see that uh, lots of this kind of issue occur because they don't really follow the rules and regulations. Apart from rules and regulations, there must be some other ways or recommendation on how to overcome this particular issue for not occurring in future. Okay, um, thank you, Ms. Moderator, for the question. To make sure that a situation like Ms. Charlotte does not occur, one of the steps is vigorously enforcing law at all levels. Company can do this by hired an enforcement agency that are responsible for investigating and resolving sexual harassment complaint. Plus, the enforcement agency need to give training to their staff to ensure the staff have greater sensitivity when dealing with the victims. Next, the employer must respect the reporting reference and offer different ways to their employees to come forward reporting the harassment. As we know, every people comfort level is different, especially about the sensitive issue like sexual harassment. Therefore, a company or employer need to come up with other idea on how to ensure the victim feel brave to make a report. For example, make it easy for the victim to report the harassment whether by phone, talk to the person that they feel most comfortable through email or online form. Plus, encourage employees or victim to speak and do not keep things behind door, closed doors. This is because to prevent more future bad behaviour, we need to combat it at the, the early stage. Last but not least, the companies should improve the workplace recruitment training program to prevent personalities such as Roger Misiles. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Isma, for your recommendation on how to overcome this particular situation. I believe that um, in Malaysia itself, there are some related to sexual harassment and I believe uh, the examples or the ways on how to overcome this problem will help Malaysians to overcome this particular uh, situation if they uh, happen to face this kind of situation. Not only for people who are working but students. We as a students might also uh, overcome uh, this kind of things by getting to know what, what because the real world, we don't know the real world, we are still studying. So by taking this kind of issues to our mind and heart, so I believe that we can uh, overcome these particular issues. Okay, all right. Moving on to the last question to Miss Mira. Miss Mira, why do you think Raf allowed Ms. Oleg to continue the managing store? Because as we know, he is uh, he's involved in sexual harassment. And Raf still insists to make uh, Misolik to work for him. So why do you think uh, this kind of thing uh, occur? Uh, thank you, moderator, for your question. Uh, in my point of view, I think the only reason why Raf is still allowed Misolik to continue managing store is because Misolik is an excellent worker which he keep on boosting profit in whichever store he work. Uh, part of that, uh, part of that, Mesiole also a very skilled worker which he can turn a store into a profitable business. Another reason is because he has a consistent sense of purpose and long-term objective. But we have to remember, whatever the reasons are, we still can see that the company is only think about the profit rather than the sexual harassment problem which happened in the company. Little did they know that this kind of problem could damage their reputation and also decrease their profit. So uh, in the nutshell, I strongly believe that the company, as long as the workers, uh, should be responsible for their actions, whether it is ethical or unethical. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mira. Now I see why Raf still keep on depending on Raf. Well... Mm, even though you have a talent, but your ethic, but if you don't have attitude or ethics, it is no use in uh, living this kind of life, right? All right. Um. Okay. Before we move to the last round, I would like to ask uh, Miss Farzana, 
uh, why do you think uh, this kind of uh, issue actually occur? I mean, like, let me make, let me uh, make the scope into smaller. Why do you think uh, students, more of, as what I think, students nowadays, students, ethics among students is uh, reducing rapidly, even though they have been going through uh, religious activities, standards, schools, uh, uh, tadika, and so on. But their ethics and attitudes are getting worse and worse. So why do you think this kind of things occur, occurring in Nobody. Okay, thank you, Miss Moderator. Okay, education is very thing life of ethic among students. Okay, uh, in my opinion, they have like uh, three reason bec uh, because a lack of ethic among student. The first one is friend. Why as why I say friend because at teenager stage, uh, students are more likely to socialize and make friends. So they spend more time with their friends than with family. Good social environment comes from choosing wise friends and will build a better students. So if they choose bad friends, they will be a bad student with lack of ethic. The second one is social media. Now information is just at our fingertips and information is easy to find. Like a student, we are often use a laptop or internet to complete our assignment and even to find information. But some of the students use internet not only for educational purpose, but they also use as entertainment. The lack of ethic can be occur when that person is addicted to game. So when they're busy playing games, they will not aware about their surrounding. The, and the last one is uh, religion. Um, it's because it's religion teach us to be useful not only to ourselves but only to others. So religion plays a role in decide someone right or wrong. So lack of ethic can arise due to the lack of religion knowledge among students nowadays. That's all from me. Uh, thank you, Ms. Farzana. Um, I would like to ask, uh, this might be quite out of topic, but uh, do you, uh, I would like to ask all the panels, that would be easier. Uh, did you actually experience any cases in UUM re related to sexual harassment? Anyone? Okay, we will start with uh, uh, Arina. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have, I don't facing uh, any um, sexual harassment myself and I do hear from my uh, close friend too. Uh, anyone else that have heard or experienced any of this uh, issue in UUM? Uh, can I add something? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Go on, Matt. Uh, in, in, during my semester two, I took a subject, scientific inquiry. In that subject, I made a, a survey, a research on sexual harassment in our university, in UUM among students and staff and surprisingly we have some cases of <laughs> happening in our university and uh, some of the places that they uh, disclose happening of uh, happening to sexual harassment is in the bus you see okay. and then in library and in in dark places and okay. i think um, our university should take uh, the approaches like Isma have told us just now that uh, they should have a complaint measure how to take the complaints without uh, affecting their dignity uh, because the, the case is happening in our university actually. I see. Thank you Mr. Matt for your um, opinion and view because it's quite new for us because I have never heard any uh, cases related to sexual harassment. So thank you for the information. Uh, is there anything that uh, the panelists would like to add in more? No. None. All right. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the last round. Conclusion round. So Ms. Fazana, would you please make a conclusion on our discussion today? Okay, of all our discussion and all our friends, uh, talk about ethic okay i think 
ethic are well-founded standard that are make action right and wrong. It help categorize different values such as integrity, discipline, and honesty among others and apply them in daily basis. Ethic also influence behavior and allows an individual to make the right choices. So, without ethic, it will be, it will be very difficult to regulate life and act res responsibly. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fazana, for the conclusion, which is quite dense. I would like to thank all our four, uh, panels for today's discussion. Then with this, I would like to end our forum tonight. And I'm sorry if there's any mistakes throughout this discussion. And I hope from this forum, we, have take, we should take lessons and make sure we does not repeat any mistake that occur in overseas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.